My name is Jeff Fremo. I run the, uh, the Career Technical Education Food Service Program at Central Valley High School. Um, in my advanced foods class, I try to incorporate as many authentic, hands-on, or real-world experiences as I can. Uh, so what we've been doing a lot of is, is catering projects um, and uh, you know, individual, you know, uh, cooking for parties and so forth for for real money for you know, uh, for real people for real customers. They need to learn life skills. They need to learn transferable skills. They need to learn how to plan and how to work together, how to cooperate, and how to work as a team. So we'll do uh, Mexican specialties. We'll do a lot of pastas. Um, you know, we did a really good uh, filet mignon stroganoff this year. So this class is really focused on on that uh, that production aspect of, of uh, the, the culinary program here. Oh, my name is Andrew Calais. Uh, I'm a senior this year. Today I cooked stromboli with a nice spinach salad and a marinara sauce topped with the salad is topped with a raspberry vinaigrette. My favorite dish this year was, I want to say, in taste would be my uh, enchiladas. That was a big hit with the crowd. Or I made empanadas. That was another big hit. But um, those were good in taste. But for presentation-wise and beauty, I would prefer to say this plate personally because I put more effort in showing the class how it is done properly this time around. I would recommend this class. Um, it is truly a fun class and a great experience to be around people you get to cook with and make new bonds and you actually get to taste each other's food. Like you, Through food, you can know the person. You share this d deeper connection. So, yeah, I totally recommend this class for upcoming freshmen or an Andrew that comes into the school. <laughs> this is Carmen and Trent. What they're doing is making a classic Italian, Italian risotto dish for their uh, for their cooking final. It's a uh, wild and fresh mushrooms, and then Trent grilled up a sirloin steak. I'm going to show what it would look like to plate a, a, a plate that would cost you know nineteen twenty dollars down in the in the wine country Bay Area. The pathway to Shasta College uh, works where I'm in pretty close contact with the chef at Shasta College, Brad Peters, who does an outstanding job, and uh, Roger Girard, who is the hospitality program director there. And I meet with them uh, at least once, usually twice yearly, to help uh, align what we're doing here curriculum-wise at the high school level uh, with what they're going to be doing at the junior college. So I try to make sure that the students will be leaving here with the skills they need to be successful at the uh, Shasta College program, uh, which is a good program. I'm in advanced cooking. We do um, kind of some more advanced culinary stuff, like what we just saw with the, uh, with the Italian risotto. Um, we do a lot of really meat pastas, some soups. soups. Um, during towards like the middle of the year, we ran like a, uh, a Friday foods to go kind of thing within the school. We would sell food to the staff, um, and we would make that all Thursday and Friday. It's actually really interesting. Yeah. After high school, I'm planning to go to Chess College uh, for a couple of years and get my general ed done, mm -hmm. and then uh, I was going to transfer to UC Davis uh, to actually get a, a degree going. To a freshman, absolutely. I would recommend this class to anybody who's going to be here again next year. Um, and if they haven't taken Cooking One, I would definitely recommend uh, Foods One. Uh, Fremo's a great instructor. He's taught us a lot. It's, uh, it's been a really good experience. I like to think that this class is beneficial on a number of levels. For starters, uh, it, it's kind of changing their lives in the sense that they're learning how to produce real food, so oftentimes healthful food. Um, and, and having the skills to, to be able to, to, and the confidence to break down the, the, the fear that they have about, about cooking. Because anytime somebody does something new, it can be daunting. It can be, um, there's a lot of fear involved. So we really try to break down uh, that fear and have students develop confidence. We're in cooking. Bro. Advanced cooking. Sorry, advanced cooking. Advanced cooking. Advanced cooking. Advanced cooking. Advanced cooking. Advanced cooking. Seniors. Senior. I'm super senior. I'm small, but I'm so large. Make good food. Like good food. Like pizza. Yeah, pasta and soup <laughs> and grilled cheese. Oh and yeah, grilled cheese. They're eating grilled cheese right there. Yeah. Right now I'm making a uh, Monte Cristo sandwich. And we made a. Uh, what did we make? We made, uh, yeah, we made chicken cordon bleu. That's what it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yes, yeah, you should take this class. It's fun, and it teaches you really good life skills. And if you're hungry, you have to come to this class. Yeah. You get fed. Yeah, you get fed. Good. <laughs> <laughs>
Central Valley High School is really a little, it's a head, hidden gem up here. We're a smaller school, we've got a really good neighborhood feel, we've got a lot of dedicated teachers. I really feel like this program has been growing in positive directions. Where we're moving more towards now is a certification-based program where we're going to be learning more direct culinary and food service skills. And that's why I got hired for this job, because I went to culinary school and I have thousands and thousands of hours in the business. So I'm here to build the program around the career technical education model, and really focused on the food service skills necessary to be uh, ready to work. Uh, upon leaving high school in entry level jobs and even perhaps above that in the community. Freshmen coming into Central Valley, wanna, if they were interested in, in uh, a career in the culinary arts, uh, this would be an outstanding place they could do it. Uh, they could come in and they could take, uh, with permission, if they show interest, they can take uh, Foods 1 as a sophomore and then they could take the Foods 2, the advanced class, the production class, uh, their junior year, and then their senior year they could do ROP uh, which is the ROP cooking class, which is uh, done through the county, and they have a restaurant down at the County Office of Education. So that's kind of would be the capstone class to get out into the public. And then I would highly recommend any student, any freshman coming in who wanted to pursue this pathway, to come and do what I just said, do the ROP, and then move on up to Shasta College. And you put all that together, and you're going to get a really solid culinary foundation, basically for free.